Hello gamers, welcome to the Hubian Esports channel. Today, we are having another God Spotlight. In this video, we will feature the God who was born with a vengeance in his heart, Shabalanke. As one of the hero twins, Shabalanke and his brother Hunapu, knew their lives would eventually force them to face Lords of Death, chiefs of the underworld who murdered their father. But first, they would need to master the arts of hunting with blowguns and the violent ball game pits. Top lane is too easy with Shabalanke. Here are the abilities of Shabalanke. Passive skill is Dead of Night. As Shabalanke deals damage to enemy gods, he gains stacks of Dead of Night, which increases his physical power permanently. For every 1,500 damage dealt after mitigations, Shabalanke gets one stack, up to six stacks. First ability is Branching Bola. When Shabalanke toggles on this ability, his basic attacks deal additional damage. When the bola hits, it splits into two that hit enemies up to 30 units behind the target for 37.5% damage. Pressing the ability again cancels toggle. Second ability is Poison Darts. Shabalanke shoots 15 darts in a cone in front of him, dealing damage with each one. An enemy can be hit by 5 darts, with the other 4 doing 30% damage. Enemies hit are poisoned, taking additional damage every 0.5 seconds, and are slowed. Third ability is Rising Jaguar. Shabalanke rushes forward, then jumps into the air, becoming immune to crowd control. While in the air, he fires darts at all nearby enemies, dealing damage to all in the area. Any enemies that were poisoned by Shabalanke takes additional damage. And onto his ultimate, Darkest of Nights. Shabalanke shrouds enemies in darkness for 3 seconds. During this time, Shabalanke's basic attack range and his movement speed are increased. In the early game, you will see the minions fighting each other by the time you reach them. Clearing the first wave is a race against the enemy. The winner will gain pressure which can be used for pokes at the enemy. Early damage can make people defensive, and it can mentally be a first step to determining who will control the laning phase. This can also force early use of potions. This will lead to an earlier first back. In the mid game, during this phase the supports will usually start to rotate into jungle and other lanes. This allows the ADC to farm more effectively to gain levels and gold. The enemy ADC will be your 1v1. You can win, draw even, or lose depending on how the early games went. You need to identify your current situation and adapt your playstyle accordingly. During this phase, your main goal is to continue farming. However, depending on the situation, you might need to take additional action. In the late game, at this point in the game, you will be mainly grouping with your team to secure objectives on the map. Sticking together is important in any team fight. So that's all for Shabalanke. Which smite god should I do next? Let me know in the comment box below. Be sure to subscribe to get the latest updates from this channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.